Union Road Transport and Highway Minister of India Nitin Gadkari while addressing the convocation program of the Assam Royal Global University in Guwahati on Friday urged the youths to become employment creators and utilize their knowledge for the benefit of the country. He also stressed on the use of research and technology for finding solution in all spheres. He also said that the youth as employment creators can fulfill Prime Minister Narendra Modi's vision of Adma Nibar Parat. It is really a great pleasure for me to interact with you. The one of the important reason is I always feel that you are the future of India, but not only future, but present also your role is equally important. Education is a power and this is going to help us to make India Atma Nirbhar Bharat. Dream of our Prime Minister to make Indian economy as $5 trillion and Atma Nirbhar Bharat, it can be only possible by the participation of young talented people like you. I always tell to the people that knowledge is a power. The innovation, entrepreneurship, science, technology, research, skill and successful practices we name it as knowledge and conversion of knowledge into wealth is the future for the country. The knowledge, the skill and the expertise is the great asset for the country. And the other important philosophy which already I am very much have love for that, that is to be conversion of waste into wealth. No person is waste, no material is waste. It is depending upon the appropriate technology, appropriate research and appropriate vision of the leadership that you can convert West into wealth. Today, the people like you need to understand what are the strengths and what are the weaknesses. No one is perfect and no one can claim that he is perfect. Everywhere there are problems to problem, many problems we have. When we have the people, there are some people who convert problems into opportunities and there are some people who convert opportunities into the problems. To my alma mater, I shall forever, I shall forever and uphold the dignity and integrity of my profession. In the second convocation, the university awarded degree certificates to 951 students along with 30 gold and 36 silver medalists. Uh, my name is Joshi Wahengbam. Uh, 2022 batch. Uh, I'm feeling quite ecstatic today. Um, uh, it's really overwhelming, and I'm feeling grateful to all the uh, faculties and all my colleagues who have uh, who are uh, participating in this. And it's it's really a wholesome feeling. I am Lisa Datta. So I'm really grateful and happy. Finally, I'm getting my degree. So after two years in this institute, I'm getting my degree today. So I'm really happy. Uh, so I'm grateful also they are organizing this convocation very quick so that we can get our degrees very soon. So I studied here from MSc Physics. So two years in this institute has been a great journey. So I'm happy about it. My name is Nabin Roshan Lakra. I belong to MSW department and I'm the passing out of this 2020-22 batch. And today I really feel great, honored and it is a delightful moment. And I feel really awesome that today ministers are coming here to confer the degree and the graduate. And uh, just I'm uh, speechless because uh, Royal Global University has uh, given me a lot in the field of academics and I could do really 
excel in the field of academics and uh, my, because of my hard work and many other because with the help of the teachers that uh, what today I have achieved. It is a really blessing for me that it is awesome and I will be always grateful to this Royal Global University all my life. So thank you very much.